Hey drummers, I hope you're having an awesome day. This video is a play along for you guys who want to develop better paradiddle technique. Um, I've been teaching paradiddles and playing paradiddles for over two decades uh, at the top level in pipe band drumming and um, I love it. So I wanted to share some techniques with you, talk about it a little bit, but more than anything, just give you something to play along to, to improve your technique so that it makes drumming more fun, helps you develop what you're doing as a player. So let's take a look at it. So if you're here, you probably already know, but I'll explain it if you don't. The paradiddle is simply right, left, right, right, on the right, and then on the left, left, right, left, left. Okay, super simple, all taps, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take you through that as a play along to support your playing. You may already been playing these, but this is about how you play them. This is about how to play them better. So I want you to focus on a couple of things. Clarity. So making sure there's no buzzy or fuzzy sounds. Secondly, I want you to focus on height, control of height. So when I'm accenting, you'll notice a slight elevation. When I'm not accenting, you'll notice nice consistent notes. So the three notes that are not accented in the paradiddle should be even in height. Now, I see a lot of people saying, I practice paradiddles a lot. I practice them a ton. But I still see that they've got lack of control or they've got high hands when they should be low. Paradiddle work is all about getting stick control. To get stick control, you must tell the stick what height it's allowed to play at. So don't let the sticks flap around. This is about absolute control. So if you've been playing for a couple of months, couple of years, 20 years, you're at the beginning level, you're at the top level, this video is gonna be helpful because it's just a reminder of the essential foundational elements of how we wanna present our paradiddles, okay? Let's give it a go. So we're gonna do the paradiddle we're going to put a little accent, little, on the first note of the paradiddle. Super easy. Let's just join, join in, guys. Play along. So, paradiddle. Notice the heights. Stay relaxed. We just speed up then. As we speed up, height gets a little bit smaller. And when we get to there, it's about control. We don't want no fuzziness. Stay relaxed on your technique. Okay, so we're taking our time to be very clear around how it sounds. We don't want any lack of detail on our paradiddle. And if you lose focus for a moment at speed, of course it will sound a little fuzzy, right? I can attest to that. I'm sure every drummer can. When you lose a bit of focus, it can get a little bit cloudy. So we want to make sure we've got that quality happening. Okay, let's try uh, paradiddle with the accent on the second note. Okay, so we're just shifting it to par uh, did oh par a uh, did oh look at the height the three notes are the same height one little accent if you're doing this we want to get that height right down so your small notes should be small they're easier to play when you play them small you can control them rather than the other way around right so let's just try and focus on that par a uh, did oh Be careful you don't get, you don't want double accents right now. Okay, let's try it on the third note, okay? So we're going par a did o, par a did do. What's the hardest note there to play? When you're playing the third 
accented parallel. What's the hardest note to control? The last one, right? The note after that accent, when you're doing a double par a double, when you accent the first note of a double, that is tricky to control. So you want to focus on the sound of that note after it and the height of that note after the accent. Control. Build that up a little bit. Stay relaxed. We don't want we don't want double accents, we don't want untidy notes, we want consistent playing. That's what we're aiming for. So when people are like, oh I learned parallels years ago. Like, cool, let's hear them. Let's hear how quality they are. The better the quality your rudiments are, the better the quality your music is. And your experience, the experience that you get from playing great music, that, that joyous experience, you can't beat that. And so let's focus on keeping the essentials really at a high standard. Let's try it on the fourth note. So par, uh, did, pull. Okay, so that's your fourth note. Let's have a bit of fun. Let's play two parallels accent on the first note, two accent on the second note, two accent on the third note, and two accented on the fourth note. And then back to the start, right? Let's try it. You've all probably tried it. Let's try it together and see if we can get the quality. It's not about just playing it. It's about how you play it. Let's try it slow. Let's get the detail right. Consistent accents and consistent small notes, right? The word is consistent, right? So we're going to go part at the one. Back to the start there. We'll slightly speed up. Okay, so you can build that up and build that up. If you're struggling with that pattern, take your time. It took me many months to really get confident with that when I was learning it. So take your time, be patient. It's important to build up that exercise. One, it helps with your control and your execution. Two, it helps build your confidence to move accents around and develop syncopation. And as you go down your drumming journey, you're going to see that being able to play syncopated notes and rhythm adds so much amazing musicality to your playing. So it starts at this basic level here of building it in to your parallel. So guys, if you want to get into more depth, come across and join the free Facebook group, Pipe Band Drumming on Tap. The link is below. So hope you enjoyed the session and check out all my other content here on the channel. And if you've got anything that you'd love me to cover, flick me a message, jump into the Facebook group, let me know what you'd like me to cover. I'll be sure to do it. Cheers, guys.